Hey everyone, welcome to Morning Briefing on Aspheric TV where we talk about what's trending in Nigeria. Of course, major newspapers and their headlines. I am Dario Lujuan. I'm Dario Gifts. You're welcome to the Morning Briefing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing this I'm morning? I'm okay, Dario. How are you doing? Of course, I'm good. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's not what we have for today. Yes. Right now, what we'll be doing the major headlines in major newspapers in Nigeria. Over to you. Yeah, we'll go right ahead, starting with the Punch newspaper. The Punch leads with the United States government, as well as several human rights groups, including Amnesty International, calling for action on the reports of the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on Restitution for victims of SARS-related abuses and other matters. The headline says, FG leads loopholes, UN, US, others demand sanctions. The next headline is from the Guardian newspaper. It says, NSAS panel reports, UN, US, Falana demand accountability. The leaked viral reports of the NSAS judicial panel on police brutality and other related abuses, which was on Monday presented to the Lagos state government yesterday. We opened to the sepulchre of the October 20th, 2021 shooting incident at the Lekki toll gate. I think there's a mistake there. It should be October 2020, 20, right? Oh yeah, yeah, October 20th, 2020, mm. I beg your pardon. The Daily Trust newspaper says tree felling on the rise as cooking gas price skyrockets. Tree felling for firewood purposes across Nigeria is assuming a worrisome dimension as the price of cooking gas hits the rooftop. Hmm. Worrisome. Yeah. Yeah, Nigerian tribune. Yes, of course. Nigerian tribune, US to Lagos, federal government, act on NSAS panel report. Well, according to Nigerian tribune, the United States government has hacked the federal and legal state government to take action on the recently submitted report of the legal state judicial panel of inquiry which looked into allegations of police brutality in the state mm -hmm. next is um daily independence um bridging access gap in rural areas areas will linger says telcos as Nigerians commemorate 20 years of telecoms revolution in the country, telecommunication operators have said that it will take time to bridge broad band access gap in rural, in rural areas. Well, that's it on major headlines in major newspapers in Nigeria from Morning Briefing in Asterix TV. Right now, we'll go on a quick break and when we come back, we'll get to discuss some trending news. Welcome back. I am still Diane Lujuan and she. Double gifts. Welcome back. Well, right now we'll be talking about what's trending in Nigeria. Well, gift with all that you've been able to go through today, what did you find so interesting? Mm, I think from the Daily Trust newspaper, where it says tree felling on the rise as the price of cooking gas skyrockets. Mm. That is um, a worrisome topic, I must say, because trees, tree felling, which means getting firewood from yes, the trees yes. and then charcoal as well, mm -hmm. that was like the, what we used to use back in the, in day. the day. And then gas has become an easier means of cooking and mm -hmm. all of that. But with the price, the price increase of gas, the average person will find it difficult. difficult hence a lot of people will probably resort back to firewood, firewood or charcoal and um if we look at this deeper it's slowly leading us to the whole deforestation issue because now we're going to be cutting down a lot of trees and it's taking us backwards really and then I'm very sure that we are not even going to plant back half of those trees. Mm -hmm. This is going to affect our ecosystem. It's going to affect life in general as we know it, the ozone layer, all of that. So it's actually deeper than we think it is. It's not just about the 
price of gas increasing, yeah. this is going to be detrimental for our health as well because you know the uh, smoke coming from firewood and charcoal is actually not. Yeah. Yes, it is not good health wise. So we really hope things get better and yeah. the price of cooking gas reduces at, uh, at least so that the average man will be able to afford to it. survive. Yes. Because Talking about the, the tree felling, I remember back in the day mm -hmm. where our parents, you won't go to um, an elderly person's house and not meet a farm behind. Of course. But now <laughs> everyone wants to have his or her houses cemented, mm. tied and all. Then we ha we have trees in compounds. It was a good thing, and I think life was because of that. Life became, as in the climate, was was really okay and palatable for us to to dwell. I remember yeah. when um, Babatunde Rajivashala yes was made a gov governor recently. Then some years back, it's a it gave an order that. The masquerade tree, I don't know if you know that masquerade tree, that long tree. Yes, yes. True. Should be planted in Lagos. So mm -hmm. then then when you when you go to places. Lagos, every places you go through has you, that tree. Yes, has that tree. Which is good. Yes. Because it, that is afforestation helping mm -hmm. the climate and all of that. But we don't get to see that all we don't get to see all of that often. I just, I just feel that um, because I think there's a little digress on this gas issue, but yeah. I think I, I, I think I should, we should talk about this planting of a thing, because um, I think people should be lectured more yeah, on the, the yes, whole planting on, tree. on the on, on the positive aspect hmm. of planting trees and um, going back to that home planting and all the positive aspects. Another aspect mm. of this whole three trees thing, I mm. think, is that a lot of animals depend on trees mm. for to food, mm. they live there and all of that. Like the, the cow and all that. And then the more we cut down these trees, we're slowly making some of these animals go extinct. So the next generation that's going to come will not get to see a lot of animals just as we didn't get to see animals like dinosaurs we just see their pictures with what we are doing encouraging the whole deforestation this is going to lead some animals to go extinct and then i don't know the next generations will only have pictures to rely on so to see some of these animals mm. but well in all of this let's just hope that the prices of cooking gas go down to yeah. avoid all of this long drama in the yeah. long run yeah definitely yes but a call has gone out to president Mohammed buhari, buhari to immediately sack and ensure the arrest of, and prosecution of the minister of information and culture lai yeah, mohammed hmm. well the call was made on tuesday in a statement by the human rights Writers Association of Nigeria, that's Uriwa. Mm -hmm. Uriwa spoke against the background of the revelations made in the report submitted on Monday to the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu yeah, by the, the whole Lagos panel of yes, 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 yes. Mm. What, what do you think about what do you think about that? Well, I know you know, have a lot to say. <laughs> you know, the whole panel mm. of inquiries and came up with findings yeah. that have said not less than 11 people were killed at the toll gates on that fateful day that was 20th of october mm. 2020. meanwhile we've been going back and forth for about a year mm. on whether or not people were actually murdered that day or that's what and we've been seeing we've been, we've been seeing recorded yeah which the videos. government came out yes. to say all of that was doctored it was photoshopped and all of that so it has been an allegation but then the panel of inquiry has come out now to say that all of these are facts they are true so i don't know and the whole lai mohammed stood his ground for about a year from last year when that incident happened up until now kept saying that to so say that mass, yes yes there were no, bodies. no bodies nobody's found morgues all of that have no records of people who have died and then they also claimed that no family has come forward 
to actually say that a member or members and of the family demanded demanded apologies from persons mm. and organizations with that. reports on loss of lives <laughs> that yeah saying that those people were lying actually yeah. should, should apologize to the government for falsely accusing them of something so i don't know i think the presidency will, will decide on this whether or not to arrest and prosecute Sly muhammad or maybe he'll be the ones who publicly apologize to nigerians mm. for accusing us wrongly even <laughs> with proof proof well, CDS says Lagos Judicial Panel reports has not confirmed soldiers killed Leki to get protested. Okay, so who did? What he's trying to say, actually, what the Chief of Defense Staff, um, General Loki, mm -hmm. um, Irabo, um, is trying to say is that um, we should all wait for the white paper okay like the actual out. proof uh, yes <laughs> so we should out. just yes look it's a, the right thing to do is to wait for the white paper reports on the lagos judicial panel reports before taking any position okay on the reported lucky to get so what what we are working with now is leaked information literally but what you, you, <laughs> you have been able to say the white paper is like the actual overall what we should believe yeah that is what he's trying to say well i don't know about that but <laughs> videos and all of that the whole dj switch video her live instagram that show i mean let's talk about the live instagram mm -hmm. please can you photoshop a live i don't think so that's the whole point of it a live, live i think that's the whole point of it a live, live event because it's happening there and then you're showing it as it's happening and I also saw a report somewhere that said DJ Switch's video didn't show anybody dead or anybody dying. But in her video, there were shots of people, of gunshots. We could hear yeah. gunshots. We could see people running for their lives. Even if we didn't visually see people fall and die. No, actually, she was the running video for her I life saw, as well. I, I, still, I saw some of its blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw yeah plus all of those pictures that were going around with the flags stained with blood i mean where did that blood come from do you think um protesters went with paints red paints perhaps so that um in in cases like that they would just try to frame the government do you think that is an event that would have occurred i don't think so so how else do we explain all of that blood and all they wanted was was something that will benefit every youth yeah in nigeria it's sad if we delve into all of that it's going to take a very long time because it is it was really a sad event and then we pray that their souls the souls of all of those who died yeah rest, rest in, in peace perfect. Yes, perfect. and then um the panel of inquiry from the information they released yes i saw that um they were asked, the Lagos state government was asked to honor the victims, those who died yeah, on that very yes. day. They were asked to honor them by renaming that toll gates area. Yes, to, to NSAS um, Memorial. Yes, yeah, something yeah. like that. So I really hope all of that works out. They were also asked to like compensate families. And every October um, 20 should be a day to remember that yeah um, even though it, do, it doesn't cut it i mean it won't bring back the, the lives of those that have been lost it won't it won't completely heal families who have lost loved ones but i think it is a welcome development and then yeah. it will go a long way in at least showing these people that okay something is being done not like the whole thing was just swept under the carpet so i think that's a good one so we pray that these people find soccer and comfort yeah, and, and going back to our national and them um, mm. and the labor of our heroes past those are our heroes our ancestors vain. those who lost their lives at that protest they are our yeah. actual heroes and then we pray they find rest with god actually and then let's hope that this doesn't repeat itself ever and i just pray that when the white paper the so-called white mm. paper comes out um <laughs> <laughs> it's still the same thing as um yes as what we've been panel, talking about yes, as yes. reported so yes. far well the you still on air says mm -hmm. the united states government has reacted to the reports submitted 
to the Lagos State Government by the panel, the Judicial Panel of Inquiry. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, um, well, okay. Reacting to the statement they, they gave the Lagos State Government, mm -hmm. the Yes Mission in Nigeria said, it is awaiting the response of Muhammad Bari led administration and that of the Lagos government, Lagos State government. Okay, the, the US said anything. Yes, so and the US embassy said the response of authorities would represent an important mechanism of accountability regarding the NSARS of course. protest and the event at the toolgate. So I'm I'm still one I'm still waiting for what the president of um, Mm, Nigeria would will, say. will say this this time around. Actually, accountability to citizens by the government is supposed to be a top priority. Mm. You are accountable to the people you lead. So something like this shouldn't just be swept under the carpet Cabot. as it has. Like it so never happened. The US, the UN, these are international bodies being concerned and then asking the Nigerian government to be accountable. I think I think it's a good call and then the government should actually take it seriously mm. and be accountable for all of these things that have happened. Okay. So let's hope they heed to the call to actually be accountable for all of this. Well, hopefully. Well, yeah. The Nigerian army has revealed that fighters of the Islamic State West Africa province, that's ISWA, yeah. are planning to kill more military commanding officers. Why well, though? <laughs> well, according to report gathered, Iswap fighters had, um, during the weekend, during the weekend, killed um, Brigadier General Dizama Zikuso mm. and three other soldiers in an ambush while um, they were on their way to reinforce troops at Askira Uba local government in Borino. So well, what? What do they do now? I mean, that's the job. It's to fight terrorism. Mm -hmm. hmm. And ISWAP is a terrorist yes, body. Yes, yes. Wow. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I wouldn't... It's not like we expect that they withdraw their troops at no, this no, point. No, no, no. I mean, that's the whole point of the job. It's to fight terrorism. To defend, yeah, to to defend yes. So... Everybody gets to die eventually. <laughs> and the whole military job involves death. And no, I won't say it involves death and all of that, but it's it's expected. You've given your life to the country. Yes, it's expected. You've given your and all. Big ups to the military. We appreciate all of their mm -hmm. hard work and good work in trying to protect us citizens of Nigeria. And we send our condolences to the family of the late Brigadier General. Yeah. And we really hope, it's our hope that no more lives are lost. But we really wish them luck in the whole struggle. Yeah, because they are really defending yeah. the country. And and it's I, something they are yeah. going to keep doing. I actually wonder how um, the country would have been if we don't have people like them who give their lives nah, it's, to it's going to, to be defend it's, it's going to the really country. be messy mm -hmm. because we'll be left to defend ourselves yeah so that's why these people are making a huge sacrifice to actually defend us they give up their entire lives mm -hmm. to defend us because once duty calls they just run to the yeah and after their line. families don't get to see them and yeah. for months they go they go to the field and their family don't Some don't get to come back, like yeah. the Brigadier General who has died now. So we pray for more grace to them mm -hmm. and we actually pray for success so that this whole terrorism thing just comes to an end. But do you think it can, it can really end like that? Hmm. That's I can't say. <laughs> because I think every 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 country mm -hmm. in in the universe yeah has its, yes, has at, issues at, like yes. that just that some are more than yes, others yes yes uh, they, they are graded because the us mm. they also have the as asia china china everywhere ev everywhere 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 will um, definitely have something that is linked to insecurity but of different um Great. Yeah, we uh, really hope that things get better so the world in general can just 
be a better place. But I also think if our, our security operatives are well equipped, they will um, do better. Yes, than well they're equipped doing right and um, well trained, mm -hmm. and um, put um, put things that stain that that stains their 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 agencies like bribery. Mm. Cor corruption. The they should put it aside. Yes, and and face what they are being sure. called to do. Yeah, I it's going to go a long way. Yes. They do all of that because, yes. like having moves in in their midst that now leak their plans to these terrorists. At mm. times, it jeopardizes the whole operation because they know their plans ahead of them. I mean, of course, I mean, your troop would have planned would have planned how they want to and somebody goes, execute goes so to leak the information I mean, it's it just renders the whole mission null because yeah. of course you can't win mm -hmm. so we really hope that those things stop and then the equipment too that they they need to actually fight and effectively fight we hope that all of these are provided for them yeah and then i'm pretty sure that terrorism would drastically reduce if these things are put in place if yeah. the right measures are being followed so yeah. hopefully though everything will get better of course it is our hope mm -hmm. yeah and we are still waiting for the white paper report mm. to be out yeah, so, so we this will know issue. yes so we will know whether to conclude mm -hmm. um or not we'll know if we are going to judge the the government <laughs> the federal government of um been so negligent yep and yes. not being accountable to its citizens mm -hmm. so we are waiting the white yeah we paper do report. Mm -hmm. so i think that's all for um morning briefing today thank you so much for staying with us i remain diary Joel and my dad my name is w gibbs please join us tomorrow and please don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms on aspheric tv on youtube Thank, Thank you, you for staying with us. Bye.